November 1891. Dear Robin, at Oxford with Bosey, where I have found poetry and paradox dancing together. You were right, he has no morals. It's the perfect understanding. Have I found it by some chance? That's so uncommon, yet simple understanding, not to take the romance from romance. Yes, someone understanding who will love you with your fault, will never be possessive, never be demanding, and never mix his business with the walls. Someone who likes the things you do, not merely saving you, simply placating you. Someone who's not concerned with some vow, just in love with you now. Someone that you touch and you begin to do a little more than just survive. Someone who will keep you walking faster than you did last year, cause you're alive. Someone who will make you turn each corner, wondering if that someone is there. Someone who will never ever bore you, or adore you, and yet be there. To laugh with you, dance with you in the cafes. Someone who will sing with you, Nights with you in the cafes. Someone who gives a damn if the curtain goes up and if life is made bright with moments of love and a few sunlit days. And those nights in cafes. October 1892. Dear Robbie, penniless in Paris. We've had dreadful quarrels while waiting for my next advance. My dear boy is born without funds in Paris. The only thing that consoles him is giving wrong directions to English tourists. It's the perfect understanding when that someone you've just met tells you he may run off somewhere and go for Langley, but you'll never be sorry or regret. It's so nice to have someone Who'll drink champagne with you, run off to Spain with you, board any train with you. Someone who never questions the fare, or what month to go where. November, 1892. Dear Robbie, we arrived London Tuesday next, bankrupt from the casinos. Bosey left me briefly for a sailor in the airport. But he has since returned and has forgiven me. <laughs> it is the perfect understanding.